Hello everybody and good morning. This is Yotso from the Yotso Tech Tracks YouTube channel. Welcome. I would like to take a few minutes to show you my oil cooler setup. I am running on my 2015 Ram 1500 pickup truck. Uh, once again, my intentions on this truck are going to be for camping, overlanding, touring, outdoor adventures, um, pulling a trailer sometimes, and just loading up the family and going on weekend adventures anytime possible. This vehicle is got the 5.7 liter V8 automatic transmission combo and from the factory it did have a smaller oil cooler for the transmission right in front of the radiator behind the grill here. Unfortunately I cannot really show you too much but I'm going to zoom in and show you as much as possible. It is a cold winter day and for me to be able to remove all these parts to get a better view I would probably break a lot of these plastic uh, Christmas tree tabs or even the grill itself. So let me zoom in and show you what I'm running. These are B&M uh, super cooler oil coolers I believe I'll give description links below as much as I can I do have a 10 inch um, cooling fan mounted right in front of one of them that is for the transmission the red piece you see in the background and I'm using an oil cooler for the engine on one side and an oil cooler for the transmission on the other side for the engine I am using an adapter plate and I am using also an oil filter relocation bracket because this vehicle, like um, pretty much all the vehicles I've had in the past, the oil filter is a little bit hard to get to and I've mounted skid plates underneath everything which makes it even more difficult to get to. And when you do unscrew them, it's a mess that I just don't want to deal with every time. So I'm going to show you behind the bumper in the front. I am using a large aftermarket oil filter. You can run anything you want to. Um, mine is a mobile uh, oil filter. I've mounted it here to make oil changes easy. I am using um, what's called a Fumoto oil pan drain valve, which I am basically unscrewed the, the drain plug on the oil pan and it screws into it. And it's basically a 90 degree quick turn valve. So there's a hose mounted to that. and you just hold the hose into a drain bucket, you turn that valve, the oil drains out and the filter is underneath, um, basically behind the front bumper. So it makes oil changes quick, easy and not messy at all. I did install an oil cooler for the engine, as I just mentioned, because these Hemi V8s do run, tend to run hot, especially if you're towing a lot. So this is something to keep the oil temperatures a little bit more in check. That one, the oil cooler for the engine does not have a dedicated fan like I've mounted for the transmission, but this vehicle from the factory does have one mechanical fan driven by the crankshaft and the other one is an electric fan that is cycled by the ECU. So oil temperatures did come down since I've installed that engine oil cooler, but the transmission, I would like to keep basically as cool as possible. It is a standard, I believe, uh, 65 RFE 5 or 6-speed automatic, depends how you look at it. And um, it does have a torque converter, which produces a lot of heat, as any other automatic transmission. So uh, the cooler, the better. You cannot overcool these units. Um, you extend the life significantly if you, if you keep the temperatures down. Because this vehicle is even empty, it is heavier than stock. So... I would like to constantly um, manage those temperatures, even if I'm not uh, hauling anything, even if I'm not pulling a trailer, I do have uh, more weight on it already. As you can see, it does have a lot of accessories and the weight is going up. So cooling is important. The cooling fan I've mounted, I will give you a link if anybody's interested, is again, a 10 inch, um, just a regular 12 volt electric fan. My switch I've mounted, I will show you, is mounted when you open the driver's seat, driver's door, sorry. I did mount an auxiliary switch panel just where I can reach it. Even when, when the door is closed, I can still reach down. And I know that, for example, the first switch is for my surround lights for the bed. Number two, off-road lights for the roof. And my number three from the front, one, two, three, is going to be the cooling fan 
for the transmission. I like to keep these temperatures down. If you can hear the noise in the background, that is the fan running. I like to keep these temperatures down and maintain them down without having to increase the temperatures and then pull them down with the factory fan. Because as I said, this vehicle uh, does have an electric fan that's controlled by the ECM, but it is very difficult for this vehicle to, to get into parameters where you can change when that temperature uh, threshold does come on for the fan to engage. Um, this ECU on this RAM, just like many newer vehicles, as you can see, it's mounted here on the bulkhead firewall. This ECU is uh, encrypted and tuners are actually very expensive to be able to unlock parameters for you to be able to play with numbers, such as when to turn on the fan, when not to. I found myself um, contemplating that decision. I believe the cheapest solution for this truck is you have to ship your computer off to a company who can unlock it and who can uh, manipulate those numbers, which for me it's not worth it. I'm not looking to uh, increase performance in this vehicle beyond factory. So I've just added on an extra cooling system basically for important items such as the engine oil and the transmission, which are two of the major uh, components in this vehicle, which I like to keep, keep uh, for a long time. In the past, I've always um, played around with these things on my previous vehicles. I understand that if you if you tamper anything with any any vehicle that's under warranty, it can get into issues about um, denied claims. But personally, for myself, I am an automotive technician, and uh, in my point of view, I not really chasing warranty problems if I can prevent certain things from happening, such as transmission overheating, engine oil overheating issues, and that's just my point of view. Everybody's different. Some people don't like to touch anything on their vehicle as far as um, getting into these issues. But for myself, I had good experience with these kinds of modifications. And hopefully um, the truck will last a very, very long time. As I said, when you're towing, hauling, putting greater loads on the vehicle, you do put a larger demand on all the components of the vehicle. Um, this is just my my solution to problems that could arise in the future but i'm being proactive and uh trying to deal with those issues without without any major hurdles down the road this vehicle i should mention uh, did have an option for in the 1500 trucks i believe it is a a six cylinder turbo diesel which is has intercoolers mounted in front of the radiator behind the grill so there is significant room under here as I said, I've managed to come up with my own bracketry, which are these aluminum rails you see under here. Um, there is basically the aluminum rail, the bracketry, there is the cooler, and there is a fan, and it still fit behind the radiate, behind the grill. So there's no issues as far as being able to fit them. Some vehicles are tighter tolerances than others. This vehicle was very easy to install these parts, and um, hopefully it's going to give years and years and years of trouble-free service. Thank you for watching and once again it is very cold outside i am going to go inside to warm up because uh canada is a little bit colder in the winter and we are right in the middle of it so if you like what you see i will try to do as much videos as possible to help out the community if anybody's interested leave a comment any questions i'll be happy to answer and uh if you like what you see subscribe there is plenty of content coming to this channel regarding outdoor adventures, vehicle repairs, um, any kind of helpful information that people find useful for this kind of a topic. Thanks again. This is Yotso. Take care and goodbye.